You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Ginald versus Hardin. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Yes. Ms. Ginald, you and your sister agree that the man you've known to be your father is denying paternity. Yes. yes. Now, yet you disagree about why you've come to court today. One of you is hoping the DNA test will prove he is your biological father. The other is hoping to learn he is not. Now, Mr. Harden, you argue that you've been buried in child support payments totaling more than $90,000 for two daughters you don't believe you fathered. Furthermore, you claim that while involved with their mother, you caught her in several compromising situations with other men. And you believe it's understandable why you've always had doubts. So, Ms. Ganault, first, just explain to the court, when's the last time you saw this man? Um, Mr. Hardin actually came to our house in Minnesota um, and with his two sisters in which we all just spent the day together. And um, the last I recall, I was 11 years old and my sister Kiera was 10. 11? Mm hmm And you're 26 now? Correct. 15 years ago is the last time you saw him? Correct. He would always say he was gonna come see us and he never did. He would just always lie and that was it. I, I wanted this man so bad in my life. I played basketball, I ran track, all my friends had both mom and dad there. I had my mom. I wanted him, to be, I watched through my windows and watched raindrops fall and he wasn't there. He told me he was coming. I waited and waited and waited. He never showed. Yana, their mother didn't allow me to come around them at all. There's no way that I would not want to be around my daughters, Yana. You're lying I, right there. I asked for a fraternity test from day one and, um, Your Honor, I've always doubted because I used to catch Ms. Gunnell with several different men during the course of our relationship. I would actually come in and um, see men running out the door. I actually caught Ms. Gunnell after I had to go out of town for a funeral. The, my first daughter was six weeks old. I came in from out of town for my aunt's funeral. I came home early to find Ms. Gunnell gone. Another lady was in the house. She threw the baby in my arm and ran out the door, Your Honor. Specifically, though, I mean, there's specific windows of conception. Why is it you doubt that Shanice, your oldest daughter, is yours? What specific thing happened? They were nine years old before she said that I was the father. Well, look, when you found out she was pregnant, did you think the baby was yours? There was a possibility, Your Honor, but You I... only felt there was a possibility? Yes, because she had slept with two of my friends prior to that. I found that During out, the I time found, Shanice was conceived? Shanice had already been born six weeks. So between that time, I waited. You know, I, I didn't want to, you know, deal with the situation, so I got away from her. And then about a month later, we got back together. And then she told me that she was pregnant with Kiera. So, all right, Mom, I want to hear from you. Ms. Ganahl, please uh, step up to the witness stand and have a seat. Thank you for being here. Now, Ms. Ganahl, you've got two beautiful girls. And Mr. Harden is saying that each time you told him you were pregnant, he doubted whether or not he was their biological father because you had been unfaithful. Were you unfaithful? I was dealing with somebody prior to us getting together. And um, like I said, prior to us getting together, he was also in a relationship. And when I first got pregnant, he, he, was, he was excited about it. He also, like I said, had another woman pregnant. She was a, a, a pregnant a month before me. But more importantly, were you sleeping with anyone else during the time, let's first deal with Shanice, your oldest child, were you sleeping with anybody else during that window of conception? When we, when we first got together, no. But prior to that, I, like I said, I was with, I was with somebody. So there is so a po yes, there, there is, is a, po yes. a possibility. Mm -hmm. And I told him that. So she told you point blank that there could be someone else. She did not tell me. A yes, friend I of did. mine told me, Yana. Yes, I did. 
a friend of mine actually brought it to my attention. She, he actually told me that she had several different men that she had been engaged with over the time. So, is that true? No. Mm -mm. But David you do admit I... that there's at least one other possibility in, as it relates to your first child, Shanice. Yes. There could be one yes. more person. Yes, could be. Okay, Shanice, did you know this? Yes. So you do know this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's on the birth certificate for Shanice? Just me. No father listed. No. How about Kira? Nothing. So you're paying child support, though. That's you correct. say you owe almost $90,000 between the two girls. That's... So if you're not on the birth certificate, how did he end up being named father and responsible to pay the child support? Um, I was told from the state of Minnesota that when they approached him in Indiana, that they were going to give him papers to sign or whatever. He said he, he felt he was the father and he didn't need to sign no papers, but he signed some document, but nobody knows where that document is. What? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Mr. Harden, did you sign any documents? Just like I never signed any parental documents, no birth certificates, nothing. I was issued um, a court order because I was late for court in the initial uh, court date, and they ruled um, as default. Explain that. They actually took my truck driver license, Your Honor. I was a semi-truck driver. Uh, I used to drive trucks before this came about. They took my truck driver's license, my livelihood, Your Honor, saying that, um, that I'm the father of these two beautiful young ladies here, Your Honor. So, because you were late to court, you were named the father by default. By default. That's exactly, exactly what happened. Default and I judgment. Beg, Your Honor, I begged for a paternity test. I petitioned I am the court. 25 and 26 years old. You had all this time to do it. You should have did this way back when. There's no doubt you should have did this. I, I did it immediately. Why didn't you come? Why, why are it. you letting us call you dad when you doubted this whole time? No, you don't understand. No, I don't understand. Okay. So explain I'd it. I'd like to I'm understand. trying to explain it right now. Last year we went to court you, about this. I begged the court to please give me a paternity test. You took me to test. court last year to, to modify your child support payment. I tried. It's the all best. about the I money. Tried. Money, the it money. You I never, tried. when you started paying child support payments, that's when you wanted DNA tests. You, you didn't have me. none of this before. I was garnished from. Your I was garnished so from. So listen, from, from let day me one. ask you this, Mr. Harden. So yes. you requested a paternity test. Yes, Your Honor, several you, times. You weren't granted one by the court. No, Your Honor. But you <laughs> never just personally asked Ms. Ganald or even asked your daughters to take one. On availability, I didn't have the funds. I told him I'd pay for it. I, I wanted to get. I told him I'd pay for a DNA test, and he did not want to take it. Never happened. It never happened, Your Honor. Do you remember her asking? Never happened, Your Honor. I told her So, Ms. Ganahl, do you remember him. your daughter saying that they've, they've, I'll pay for it? I want to know. I, they had, he's, they've talked to him. We've talked, this is our we've own, talked this about This is our it. only time that he's denied us. This, we're just now hearing about this. We went our whole life. He's been calling us our dad. He's been saying he loved us. He missed us. He, he wants to see us. He's never in our whole life denied us until your now. Honor, your Honor, I'm... I'm Right over here, and I'm right over here. I'm right in the middle. I don't know. I've never actually denied them. I'm yes, right, you have. I'm right in... I haven't. I have never denied them. I'm right in the middle because I don't know. You did, over their entire life, allow them to regard you as their father, their daddy. No, I told them that there's a possibility that I am not. They knew that. That's a lie. You understand that these two young ladies thought you were their father, right? To a certain extent, yes. He's only denying us because of the back pay and child support. He wants to find a way out to not have to deal with that at all. Yeah. That's your Honor, So your how Honor, did you get so far behind, Honor, Mr. Harden? I'm sorry, Your Honor. How'd you get so far behind on the support? Uh, Almost $90,000 in back child because support? Because I, I basically wasn't aware of the law. I was, I was naive to the law, Your Honor. I did not know that I could file <laughs> motions. And, um... Well, you know, ignorance of the law <laughs> is never an excuse. You yes, know that. Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I found that out the hard way. Yeah, and your mom, your mom, their mom actually told me that they weren't mine, actually. What? Also, too. No. 
I she never told did. me that. Never she did. She came out that's of her lie. mouth with okay. that's my mind. When did she tell you? When did she tell you? She told me that she wanted me to contact the other fellow that she used to date. That uh, may be a possibility. She no, asked I never me to give me that. her number, and she said that basically she doesn't know, and they may not be mine. Period. So, Ms. Ganal, you said there were other men in each situation. Were any of those other men contacted as it relates to support no. and paternity? And no, because I don't believe. Did you ever think of having a DNA test with those men? No, because I don't. I. I. <laughs> I don't believe that um, they are. Well, belief and possibility are two different things. I understand. You can believe in a possibility and then you cannot believe in a possibility, right. but it doesn't change the fact that it's a possibility. And you're, you're absolutely right. So, and if, if, if we come to find out that he is not the father, then I will take that matter into my hand, my own hands. Mm -hmm. Yana, this is why I'm 50 50 because after she was starting seeing those checks, she was more than happy. She's still more than happy. Up until last year, of she course. got she got money all the time. Of every course, every job I worked, she, she got paid. She got paid, Yana. All my money. Yeah, but last year you was getting over five hundred, four hundred and fifty dollars. No, I, I had to go to court to get it modified. That's when I found out children. the law, Yana. You're worried about a hundred dollars here, a hundred dollars there. That doesn't matter. We my don't mom want was, money no more. Like, my mom raised is... us our whole life, and she did everything I mean, to, you, I, to, to provide it, for us. Like you didn't do not thank one you. thing. You, she got my checks every every job I worked, so I don't know where they come from. You I never got anything. What is that you have in your hand, Mister? I have evidence showing where my driver's license were suspended. Okay, um, Minnesota. where my garnishments, garnishments, garnishments of my checks and everything, Your Honor. That's what that was. Garnishments of my checks, my truck driver suspension, I never and all got that. My CDL that money. license. Never. You got it all. Yes. No, I never did. So never I do it. see. It's right there. The order for child support, evidence that his checks are being garnished. It's right Garnishing there. Garnishing going where? It's right there. So, ladies, I have to ask you this, though, listening to this testimony. This is, it, it, you know, this is... It's complex in the sense that Mr. Harden, the man you believe to be your father, he says, I always had a doubt because I knew your mother, their mother had slept with someone else. Your mother is on the witness stand saying there is a possibility that he may or may not be their father because I did sleep with someone else. So you then can understand what, even though, look, after he let you believe he's your father and he didn't show up, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. But you have to then acknowledge that his doubt is and real because... Course, and I do. Yeah. And I do. And I do. Okay. Your Honor, I do. this... this... I acknowledge your, it. Your Honor, this particular situation has not only destroyed... My life has destroyed our relationship. You're you... looking like the good guy right now. If you look at me, David, we look just alike. If you look at my sister, you guys walk just the same. Don't sit there. So there listen, kind of I said listen. I let, 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 let me. All kind of different traits. That's a I great look point. Like your that, oldest daughter that a... you were tested for with. I, that's I'm... a great point that Kira said. If you look at them, we sleep with our eyes open. All three of us do. She walks, she needs to walk like Your Honor, like I'm, actually, I'm actually <laughs> hoping that they are my daughters so we can just get past this, but at this point, I just don't know. So when you look at them, you, you see a resemblance as well. There may be a resemblance. Honor, just maybe. There may be a resemblance. Your Honor, can I say something? Do they look not, like I'm any other sure. man that you know she maybe. was with? Yes, yes. I'm 25 years old now. There's been lie after lie after lie after lie. I'm through with the lies. He told I me. I grew up. I'm mm -hmm. over it. So, Kara, you're hoping that he's not. Exactly. I, I, you know, if I, and I will go search for a man that actually wants to be my father. There's, there's men out there that want to be a father. He don't, he didn't want that responsibility growing up. He missed out so much on me. So much. You missed out on both of them. On everything. Mr. Harden, what are your hopes today? Your Honor, my hopes today is initially just to find out if that you're not the, our dad. If I am the biological father of <laughs> Kiara and Sinise, I love them, you know. I know that they're feeling hurt, and, um, and um, I didn't want to bring them here today with this. And I see tears in your eyes. And I'm, I'm not feeling good about it at all, you know. I've been hurt the whole entire time. No, you haven't. I just want a better relationship, um, and I actually just would like to know. That's been the big question the whole entire time. Let's go to the yeah. results, then. Yeah. I think it's time. <laughs> Thank you.
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Ganald v. Harden, when it comes to Shanice Ganald, Mr. Harden, you are her father. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. 26 years. I told you. I told you. All these years that you and I have been told you, all these years I told you that was your kid. Ooh. Now what? Wow. I'm happy. Are you? I'm happy. Really? Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Ganald B. Harden, when it comes to Kiera Ganald, Mr. Harden, you are her father. I told you. <laughs> I told you. I told you. All right. All right. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, 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 like I say, I'm devastated. Now look. You see him looking you, at me you, in my you, eyes? No, 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 listen. This. I will I'm this. watching you. I see tears in your eyes for your children. You're their daddy. Yes, Your Honor. Now that doubt that's kept you away from them for 20 something years yes, is Honor. gone now. Yes, it is. Do not wait for them to call you. You call them. I will be there. They don't even have to ask me. I'll be there. And don't say... let me find out you left them or your grandchildren sitting somewhere watching the rain fall. It would never happen. <laughs> it would never happen. Your waiting honor. on you to call. Judge Blake, it would never happen. Are we clear? Happen. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Court yes, is your adjourned. Honor. <laughs> I want to apologize you, to you for basically not thinking that these beautiful young ladies that you gave me are mine, okay? I had doubts, and I'm very sorry.